Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips, and I am so excited to show you that today my medallion came. So it comes in a little bubble wrap pouch like this. It's got the princess logo right here, and I've waited so that we could open it together. And so I've got my scissors here, and so you just, I'm just gonna open it here really quick. Oh, it's a little harder than I thought. It's pretty sturdy packaging here. Okay, there we go. And so, oh, it comes in a very nice box. Look at this box. Isn't that pretty? And on the back it says ocean. Isn't that nice? And so, oh, it looks like you just, maybe it's, oh, see, you just slide it here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, see, there's two medallions there. It looks like they put both my husband and I's medallion right here in the same package. It says vacations are priceless. Thank you for spending yours with us. So let's see, let me go ahead and open it right here. Oh, see, it's got this nice, it comes like this. And see, it lets you kind of see how small it is. It's a little bit bigger than a quarter and it's just really pretty, it's silver. And so, and then each one has like, let me hold this up for you. See, each one has a little, it comes with a lanyard. So it looks like it's just a nice white lanyard. Here, I'll open mine. My husband can open his. Oh, look, isn't this nice? Look, see, it says, it says ocean medallion. And it's got the Accenture. And then it's got the princess logo on there. Very nice. So I think this is really nice because what my plan is, is I'm just going to hook my medallion right on here to wear it to start because I know that on the princess ship and then I think on Amazon as well, you can buy necklace things that you can slide your medallion in and then they've got little um, wristband things that you can put your medallion in. But I just kind of want to see how it goes at first so I can kind of decide what I want to do with it. And so I'm going to start off that way. And then if when I'm on the ship or um, when I get home, I figured it out and I want to buy something online, I'll just do that. So I just wanted to show you this. It is so exciting that it came. And so if you haven't ordered yours yet, you have to use the Medallion Class app from Princess on your phone or tablet to do that. Um, if you um, haven't done that yet, go ahead and do it. You just download the Medallion app. It's really simple and it's free. It's just included in the cruise. Nothing that you use your Medallion app for costs extra because you used your app. It's completely free. The app is free. The medallions are free. Um, it doesn't cost you more to use them when you're on the cruise ship. It's, it's free. If you order food, um, if you order it from a specialty restaurant, you're going to have to pay whatever it would cost. But if you order food from anywhere else, an included venue, then it's just free. So isn't that nice? I'll just bring it to you. And I mentioned that in uh, my last video where I talked more about the medallion app. So if you missed that, go ahead and take a look at that. I also wanted to let you know that last Thursday, I received um, an automated phone call from Princess, and so I was wondering if all of you did as well. It just reminded us that when we come to uh, the port to get on the ship, that part of the embarkation process, we're gonna have to show our original proof of vaccination. So be sure that you bring your real card with you. I'm going to bring my vaccination card and then I'm going to bring a copy of it with me as well. And I'm going to make a copy and leave it at home just so that I've got that in case I lose everything. I don't think I will, but you never know. So I'm just going to do that to be on the safe side. So be sure to bring your original with you. And then the other thing it reminded us to do is to go ahead and use the medallion app to do the things that we need to be um, ready to board the ship when we get to the port. And so it's really simple. It's just the things under the little tab that says travel essentials you click on that and then you just get this nice drop down and it's just five things you just have to upload um, a photo of your passport and enter in your personal information like very basic and then you order your medallion like that I received today and then you also add the credit card that you want all of your purchases on the ship to go to 
and then you select your arrival and departure time. Now on my app, it wasn't letting me select my departure time yet. And so I think that'll be either closer to when our cruise departs or it'll be when we're on the ship. And so we, for example, we're in group B. And so the time that we get to embark at the port is between 12 and 12, 15 p.m. on our embarkation day. And so do that. And then the last thing that you have to do is just there's a little health status tab. And in that you indicate that you're vaccinated. And I can't, and you have to indicate that you're healthy now that you haven't been sick. And I'm wondering if that's going to update as we get just a little bit before um, we embark and we'll have to update it again just to say that we haven't been ill and are not ill at the time. But that's all. It's not anything that's hard. You can do it really quick. It won't take very long at all. And so as I have read through some of your comments and looked at um, what people are dealing with as I've read threads on Cruise Critic, I've noticed that there's still a lot of people having trouble getting the app or getting the app to work on their device. And so I've had a few thoughts about just maybe what would be helpful with that. But before I tell you that, would you just mind subscribing to our channel? I would really appreciate it and it really helps our channel. And we'd love to have you in our Let's Travel, Let's Go Travel Tips family. And so just click on that subscribe button and if you wouldn't mind hitting that little notification bell next to it, then you won't miss any of our videos. So anyway, um, if you have a medallion, if you have a smartphone or a tablet and you're trying to get the app to work and you haven't been able to, I've had the thought, just go to the app store or wherever it was that you bought your iPhone or your Android phone. I thought of Best Buy because my experience with Best Buy is they give really good customer service. And so go to one of those stores and tell them what the trouble is. And they usually have very helpful people and they will help you get that app downloaded. Now, if where you live, there is not a place like that, or if you have it downloaded but can't seem to get it to work, same thing, go to one of those places. If you don't have one of those by where you live, just go to like your phone carrier store. Like if you have Verizon or AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever it is you have, just go to that store and they should be able to help you as well. Now, when you're there, if they cannot get it to download to your phone or to your tablet, it might be that your device needs updated. I'm hoping it's not that because I never want to recommend spending money for something that you've got that already works. But if you, um, if they say that there's no way that your phone or your tablet will support it, you might need to consider upgrading. And if your medallion app won't work, there's probably a lot of other things that either won't work or else are not working to uh, max, max, maximum efficiency. And so you might want to go ahead and consider upgrading. I wanted to tell you, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, my son said to me, are you going to upgrade your phone, mom? And I said, no, my phone works just fine for what I want it to do. And I don't want to spend my money on that. And he said, you know, you might want to think about it because if you don't and you wait a few years, then you're going to get something new and you're not going to know how to use it. And if you just go ahead and do it every couple of years, then it's just this steady climb to knowing how to do the technology that we need to know how to do to be able to function and travel and do everything. And so I was really glad that he told me that and I took his advice. And so it's really helped me be able to stay up to date with some things because um, I'm not a techie person at all, but I do like to be able to take good care of myself and know a little bit about what's going on. And so just kind of think of that if, you need to upgrade, consider maybe doing it. But I'm really hopeful that if you go there, they can work out any glitches that you've got and it'll work just fine for you. So just go ahead and consider that. Another thing I wanted to tell you is if you've got the app on your phone and it's not working right, or it doesn't show everything that it used to show, check your app store, like on my iPhone, it's an app store. And I think for Androids, it's called the Play Store. Just check and see if there are any updates available because, for example, um, I noticed this weekend that I could not see the Dine My Way anymore. And I knew that we had made some dinner reservations for while we were on in the ship. And so, but on my husband's phone, we could see it just fine. And so I checked and sure enough, I needed to do an update and now it works just fine. And so, um, 
yeah, that's a helpful hint too. If things aren't quite working right, see if you need to do an update. And along with that, I was going to say you might want to look at the dinner reservations because you can make dinner reservations just in the main dining room for who, whoever you want. If you have a large group, you can make it for your whole group. Or if you just want, you know, if you're traveling with your extended family and you just want one for you and one other person, you can just book a table for two or a really big table, whatever you want. And you can just select the time and you select the dining room. And then that way, when you get there on formal night or um, like I scheduled us a nice dinner on embarkation night, um, then we know that our table will be ready at that time. And so you might wanna think of doing that. And again, that doesn't cost anything. If you select um, a specialty restaurant, you can also book that now, but you have to pay just a heads up if you haven't been on a cruise before, if you select a specialty restaurant, it costs. And so those are just a couple of things you might wanna consider doing. And so the last thing that I wanna tell you is, um, I did a video talking about masking and not masking on the, you know, when we're on board the ship because it's a vaccinated cruise. And I just wanted to let you know that with all the things that we've been hearing in the news with the CDC saying maybe vaccinated people have to wear a mask and all of these kind of things, I have not seen any changes in protocols for our ship or any changes in protocols for um, any of the cruise lines because they're following the CDC guidelines, I think we're, I think those aren't gonna change, but you never know. And so I just wanted to let you know that we're still solid on those, nothing has changed. And I'll keep my eye out though and bring you an update as needed. I will see you again really soon. I'm going to be uploading some more information about this cruise this week. And um, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Thank you so very much for your support and thank you for all of the comments that you leave. It's really helping us build a wonderful community here and I am thrilled. So thank you so very much. You all take really, really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.